With WKUF News, I'm David Jackson for Thursday, April 28, 2016. President Obama is scheduled to come to Flint next week to get a first-hand look at the city's water crisis. Gary Ridley of the Flint Journal reports that a White House official confirmed yesterday that the president will be in town next Wednesday to hear firsthand from the residents about the city's health crisis and receive an in-person briefing on the federal efforts in place to help the residents of Flint. According to the White House, the president is coming to Flint in response to a letter sent by an 8-year-old Flint girl who wrote a letter to the president telling him that she is being affected by the city's water and how she traveled to Washington to hear congressional testimony on the water crisis. The young lady, Mary Copany, has been a common figure at protests over the Flint water crisis for months, often seen with a tiara, a Flint Lives Matter shirt, and a sash with the apparent title of Little Miss Flint, Miss Copany has appeared as the veritable face of the protests and is expected to appear in an upcoming documentary about the Flint water crisis. Details for the Wednesday, May 4th visit have yet to be released. The most recent hospital safety score report has been released, revealing the ratings of the three area hospitals. Garrett Ellison on MLive.com reports that the study, using national performance metrics from the nonprofit Leapfrog Hospital Survey, among others, shows that McLaren Hospital received a C rating, Genesis Regional Medical Center a C rating, and Hurley Medical Center received a D rating. The study measures a number of possible factors that occur in the hospital from hospital-acquired conditions, surgical wounds reopening to the number of specialty-trained doctors in a given department. According to the study, an A score means that the hospital is fully up to standards, while an F score means that the hospital failed in nearly every evaluation available. Hurley spokeswoman Eileen Cantor argued that the score could be inaccurate, saying that since Hurley does not participate in the LeapFrog survey, they are unable to submit valid quantifying data, which would definitely change the final score and survey results across the board. Beaumont Health, who received B's and C's across their chain of hospitals, released a statement saying that the information used was out of date, did not apply to all patients, and argued that the safety grades did not provide an accurate picture of the efforts being made to comply with the standards. Brett Jackson, president of a nonprofit group that partnered with the surveyors, defends the grades and methodology, saying that it has been peer reviewed and was developed by a lauded group of experts from hospitals like Johns Hopkins and the Massachusetts General Hospital. Jackson added that the survey and methodology of measurement has been validated and in use for years. From a story reported on by MLive.com two weeks ago, a recent study by the state of Michigan on the Legionnaire's disease outbreak showed a correlation in more than half of those who contracted the disease for having all visited the same unnamed area hospital two weeks prior to contracting the disease. Jackson, the president of the Economic Alliance of Michigan, says that the grades are not measured on a curve, which gives each individual hospital the ability to score high, and says that top-performing hospitals tended to have a staff and administration that proactively works on correcting mistakes so they don't happen in the future. In Kettering news, the Grill Club invites students to join them at 6.30 this afternoon in the pavilion for some free, fresh-grilled food. The club says that all meals are first come, first serve and encourages students to come early and come often. And finally, in tech news, Tinder users could soon be revealing to all of their Facebook friends that they use the Tinder app. TechCrunch.com reports that Tinder announced yesterday that it's testing a new friend-finding feature called Tinder Social in its popular dating app. According to the press release, the idea behind the new app is to offer groups of friends the ability to meet other groups of like-minded friends. Tinder says that they are still experimenting with this new feature for now and apparently are only testing this feature with a small group of users in Australia. Unfortunately, reports are showing that this option is on by default, and users who don't realize that this feature is turned on find that it automatically displays which of their Facebook friends are also using the dating app, even those who don't necessarily want the world to know that they are using the dating app. For more information about today's stories, visit WKUF.FM. I'm David Jackson.